Welcome back to another episode of the Support Squad podcast. I'm your host, Sharon Nissen, and this week it's all about gratitude because it's Thanksgiving week, right? That makes sense. But I really want to dive into gratitude and what it means, especially for entrepreneurs. So I got the idea for this podcast episode because I was starting to put together my plan for my Black Friday sale. I wanna, I wanted to create an amazing offer for people for the Support Squad membership community for Black Friday. And so I started writing the copy for the marketing emails and stuff that would go along with it. And it was all very salesy and very marketing driven. And you guys know me, like I, my whole thing is being authentic and, um, and warm with you guys and really meeting where you, where you are and being genuinely supportive. So what I did instead, I took a step back and I said, okay, the strategy that I'm using right now to write these emails, it's not working. So I need to check back in with my gratitude because that's where this is all coming from anyway. So what I did when I started to reflect back on the last year is I really thought about what an incredible year it's been. In the last year, I launched the Support Squad podcast. I moved from Las Vegas to Dallas. Um, I launched the Support Squad membership community and our community has grown so much. We've had over 12,000 downloads of the Support Squad podcast from people all over the world. And at this point, we have over 600 members in the Support Squad hangout on Facebook. And of course, the membership community keeps growing. Beyond that, I have amazing clients that pay me well and pay me to do work that I love to do. And that is a lot to be grateful for. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before I dive more into the topic of gratitude today, um, what I have done after reflecting on all of this gratitude is I wanna pay it forward to all of you, all of you that have supported me from the beginning, that have been there through my journey this year, that have been parts of this year that personally have been really, really hard for me, but throughout of, out it all, I have felt so fulfilled and sustained by this business and by this community that we've created together. So for Black Friday, big Black Friday blowout, but which is actually more a gift of gratitude from me to you, my loyal listener and friend, I am offering half off of six month memberships to the Support Squad membership community. Half off. And just so you understand what that means, That means that you get two live coaching calls with me a month. You get all of their past guest expert trainings, as well as all the trainings coming up for the next six months. Plus you get access to our bonus goodies library that includes contracts and templates for your business. You get it all for less than $10 a month when you grab this deal. And I cannot afford to give too many of these away, but I want, I want to give you guys first access. So the first 10 people that grab this deal today are going to get six months of the support squad membership community for less than $10 a month. So go to the support squad.com right now and claim your membership. It's yours and it's my gift to you. And I'm so excited to support you as we go into 2020 and beyond. So with that said, what I really want to share today is how important how important gratitude is for entrepreneurs like us. And I want to give you three strategies that you can use to dial back in to that gratitude and to help it transform some of the more icky moments that you have in your business. So the reason gratitude is so important for entrepreneurs is because we're all we've got, like ourselves sometimes is all that we have. And sometimes when we look outside of ourselves, it can be hard to see the impact that we're making. And when we're struggling in our business, it can be hard to see anything to be grateful for. And what happens when we don't feel gratitude for the small things in life is that we're unable to have the hope and the push and the drive for the big things to be grateful for 
later. I'm also a big believer in the law of attraction. You guys know how woo woo I am and I, I do believe in the law of attraction and I believe that when we think positive thoughts and focus on the gratitude for the things that we that we have we're only going to attract more positive things to us and so one strategy we'll talk about today is how to shift those negative icky thoughts into the the thoughts of gratitude and joy and what a difference that can make in our mindset and in our business so the first thing that helps me so much and it's a, a non-negotiable i do it every single morning is i sit down after i've made a cup of coffee it's a real ritual for me i make a cup of coffee i spend a few moments in silence um at just absolute silence and i really focus in on how i'm feeling i see where my thoughts drift and um i try to turn any thoughts of anxiety and worry into thoughts of gratitude and my gratitude and pra practice includes after my meditation writing down three tangible things that i am grateful for and i try to be really specific so sometimes i'm grateful for bobby's chubby feet sometimes i'm grateful that my client asked me to write a blog on a subject that i am passionate about sometimes i'm grateful that my lungs are full of air and i'm breathing this morning but it's really about you know, looking at what we have, even the small things and feeling gratitude for them. Because if we can't find that, it's going to be really hard to find the drive and the hope and the, the power to propel us forward in our business. So I'd really love for you to think about how you can incorporate a gratitude practice into your daily routine whether it's with gratitude journal journaling just meditation sometimes in the shower i'll just stand there and say thank you thank you thank you like thank you <laughs> I'm, there's so much to be grateful for and the more that we can have those positive thoughts and those thoughts of gratitude the more good things are going to come to us trust me on this if you think negative all the time only negative things are going to come to you gratitude is powerful so another way where we can use um, gratitude to transform our lives and our businesses is when we start to feel that imposter syndrome or that comparison ickiness that we get when we're scrolling through Instagram and we see all of these amazing people who are doing amazing things. And there's a couple ways that we can kind of shift those icky feelings of feeling like an imposter in our own business and comparing ourselves to others into feelings of gratitude and joy. So one way is to, if you find yourself comparing yourself to someone, think, wow, I am in really good company. If I am in a place where I'm wondering how I am compared to this person that's doing so well, I mean, I am in good company and I am grateful that that girl has had so much success because that means that it can come to me too. So if you're feeling like, oh gosh, she's done so much better in her business. She's been in her business for six months and she's farther along than I, I am after a year. Instead think, look at how fast she's able to grow her business. I am so grateful that opportunities like that exist because that means that they're there for me too. Another thing to think about if you're getting into that imposter syndrome is to think about the things that you are so good at and be grateful for the skills and the, and the talents that you have. So instead of thinking, um, I'm like a fake and a phony, like how can I present myself as an ex expert to anyone? I, I don't feel like one. Instead be like, I am so grateful for my gifts of graphic design because I can totally put myself as an expert in front of other people. And by focusing on how grateful we are for our gifts, the more eager we're going to be to share them with others. So really take some time to evaluate those feelings that you have when you feel like you're not enough or you feel like you're comparing yourself to someone else. Really try to switch those thoughts around into thoughts of gratitude for the opportunities that are available to you and for the gifts and talents that you already have. So then another thing that we can do as entrepreneurs, and this one is the hardest one for me, 
and it's one that I really try to focus on. So I am an anxious person by nature. I beg, I can give in to anxiety really easily. You know, I've dealt with de depression and anxiety my entire life, and. Um, one thing I've really been trying to do this year is when I'm feeling those feelings of anxiety, when I'm feeling stressed, overwhelmed, there's too much of my on my plate, to take a few minutes to breathe and say, I am so grateful that I have this work. Because it's what I've wanted, right? I've wanted the work. I've I've been calling it in. I've been working on building my business. So instead of allowing all of the things on my to-do list to overwhelm me, I love to look at my to-do list and be like, wow, look at all of these amazing things I get to do on a daily basis. I do so many different things for so many different people. And I've definitely been in situations where I've been like, I do so many different things for so many different people. Like it's too much. But if we can reframe that, even just the way that we say that sentence in our mind into one of, I do so many things for so many different people. Oh my gosh, what a release that is and what a way to motivate us to keep calling things into our business, to keep propelling our growth. So I encourage you this Thanksgiving week to really think about how you can use the power of gratitude to transform your business, to transform your life, to transform your daily moments of stress and anxiety and um, self-loathing. Turn those moments into moments of gratitude and you will see it come back to you again and again um, in such good ways. So again, I want to remind you, we yeah, it's dropping tomorrow. A six-month membership to the Support Squad community is half off and that's going to allow me to support you really deeply and fully for the next six months, so into 2020. And You'll want to act pretty quickly because there's not that many of these spots and I want to make sure you get one. So head to the support squad.com right now to claim yours and I will see you in there. Okay. Until next time, boss babe.